Developing stories tonight in three shootings that rocked the northeast side of Indianapolis last night. You saw the breaking news right here on RTV6. Now one person has died from his wounds. Jerome Gray died this morning after being shot last night near the intersection of North Emerson and East 39th Street. According to police, Gray and another man were involved in a fight shortly before the shooting. A shooting in the 4,000 block of North Edmondson involved a mother being shot multiple times in front of her children. The children were unharmed, but the mother was in critical condition. Another shooting put the brother of a former IU basketball star in critical condition. Magic Dumas, the brother of Devin Dumas, is unable or unwilling to provide information to authorities about who shot him. The idea of not talking because it would be snitching is a possible growing problem in the community that leaders want to tackle right now. A community leader is sounding the alarm after all the violence in Indy Wednesday night. Reverend Charles Harrison with the Ten Point Coalition says the code of street justice must end. We're trying to, to, to educate our community that that is not the way to handle it. We shouldn't handle it by creating more violence. The reverend says more violence only creates more misery for more families. But families could help end this vicious cycle. Reverend Harrison stresses families need to get involved. And if they know information about a case or a potential for violence, they need to tell police. And telling police would also break the current deadly street policy of don't snitch. Today, it is this street code that they have out there that they don't snitch. And what they do is they handle these problems themselves. And that's why we see a lot of street justice that ends up in more violence and more homicides. Reverend Harrison is among those noticing a shift in when the violence happens, a shift to Wednesday nights. If the violence is shifting to other nights, then our strategy needs to change as far as how we address it. But he realizes changing the core values of a community will not be easy or quick. It's not going to happen overnight. Uh, it's going to take us years to address this, but, but we need to start addressing it now. Authorities are searching for any suspects in all three shootings. If you have any information, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 262-TIPS.